Hello. I was thinking a lot about this video. This is my, I don't know if I'm going to post this or not video, but I think it's fun. It's a lookbook. It's summer. I also have a little conversation about what I want to do with the future of this channel. Stick around to that if you want to care at all. <laughs> if you don't care, just, you know, I'm very stylish. Watch the stylish part. Yeah. Enjoy. Okay, so I got like my normal hoops in. These are just really small. I'm, I have two piercings. And that's kind of what I wear consistently on my ears. And so I've got this like big top and this jean skirt that I, both of these are thrifted. I really like that the top is really bright and like orange and I don't know, it's just a lot of fun. Yeah, it just, it, I'm T-posing. There we go. This outfit makes me feel good. I like that um, I haven't worn a skirt in a while, but I always feel like whenever I wear a skirt, I'm, I feel really good. And so I should do that more. I don't know, I need, I need better skirts to be honest. Okay, so this outfit, I have almost the same top, but a different color. I also got it at the same time at Goodwill. And then these bottoms are from Uniqlo and I got a beanie from Amazon. Um, but this is like my most mask kind of look that I have going. And I like that this is very much, this is like encapsulates masculine the way girls are. You know, like I feel like having really baggy clothing kind of covers up maybe your boobs or your lack thereof of boobs. And then I have these glasses that I like to put on. It makes me feel like artsy philosopher kind of energy. But yeah, this whole look is really colorful. Like I love how I, I used to wear just like, like three colors, oh my God. But now I've been trying to like wear a lot more colorful clothing. So for the next look, I have like a chain. I have some accessories. I like the simple gold chain. It's very like masculine. I have hoops, which is another accessory that is like kind of feminine. Like hoops are so feminine. And so the combo really like brings it together. And so I'm wearing this black crop from Zara. I think I've seen someone else wear it online. And I've got these like velour pants from Carrie Lane. Yeah, and this look is very JoJo inspired. Not having boobs, but having like that kind of crop, like that really tight crop feels very arrivederci. It's kind of drawing attention to the flat chest, but also having these like markers of femininity, but at the same time, like I'm wearing like pants, which are kind of masculine. And I'm wearing like this crop in particular feels like kind of a masculine crop. I think cause there's no, it's not like straps. It's more like a tank. There's no like low collar. It's like right up at the neck. So I feel like the crop feels kind of masculine, but is, it shows my midriff. And so I got these um, long dangly leaf earrings. I could probably do this look with any kind of dangly earrings, but I love these. These are my only dangly earrings, let's be real. And so I got this like velour green top going on and I've got these black jeans. This outfit is just way too hot for the summer. I'm gonna be real. I, I can wear this at night. I actually went to a club with this outfit on and it wasn't like ridiculously hot like I thought it was gonna be. I did that like TikTok trick where you button it, like you take the side strap and you button it up. I have this awesome Carhartt oversized jacket. I feel like oversized jackets, ugh, feels so good. I love oversized jackets, but you can never wear that shit now. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> like I love this outfit. I feel super androgynous, but also like I feel very pretty. Makes me feel really pretty, but also really like comfortable because I think oversized jackets make me feel very like safe. This is like when it's fucking hot out. This is, it's hot. I'm trying to be comfortable. I'm showing the least amount of, or wait, I'm showing <laughs> the most amount of skin. <laughs> I've got these, this top is from Target and these bottoms are from Cotton On. It's, it's way more casual. It's a very casual look. So I also have this skirt that I got from Buffalo Exchange, I think. And yes, it has Frida Kahlo on it. It's a Frida Kahlo print skirt. I love that. 
It's very bold. Um, I've worn it with this other top I have that's brown and it gives a very like fall vibe. Um, but yeah, this is also equally revealing. I would say with the skirt, it's a little bit less casual. Maybe like you go for, and this is kind of like a picnic fit, TBH. This is a picnic fit. I would say I most look like a girl with this outfit on because everything I'm wearing is like feminine. Okay, so the next one, I've got this kind of monochrome outfit that's all blue. This this top is from Target and these bottoms are like high-waisted and they're from Forever 21, but I got them at a thrift store and they like kind of fit me. I, I like my main problem with this outfit is like I have stomach problems, so like it's a little tight on me, but I, I look good in this video, shit. <laughs> Just as a short ending bit to this segment, like I wanted to talk about like what I'm hoping for in the channel, just cause like I kind of want to talk through my thoughts and like, I don't know, put it out there. There isn't a lot of space uh, or representation or anything like that for trans and gender non-conforming people on the internet. I think life can sometimes be as those kinds of people like really anxiety provoking or like there can be there can be some anxiety <laughs> there's there will be some anxiety involved and so i wanted to be able to make a space on the internet and hopefully you guys will come along with me for this and like make that space with me but like um for people to just be able to chill like have this be a safe space um for like people of color and for like trans femme people to be able to express themselves, express like, you know, parts of their transition, ex express, you know, whatever makes them happy and like not be judged for that and like not have maybe putting something down in the comments is gonna get a bunch of reactions from like transphobic people. <laughs> I guess this is me wanting to say like, I want this to be like a safe space kind of thing. And I also just want it to be chill. Like I think I'm going to, in the future, just be kind of making more entertaining videos and less um, like serious hormone videos because I feel like, um, I mean, I'm still going to do this, but I think I want to be able to make a space where people who, you know, are at intersections of oppression, big brain fucking word, but like people are at intersections of oppression can just chill and like not have to deal with bullshit. And I hope you guys want to make that space with me. Like, I think it's really exciting. Like, I really want to do it on YouTube, too. Because, like, YouTube... Like, I grew up on YouTube. I, like... Um, I'm, like, a 2000s kid. Like, I grew up on YouTube. I love YouTube. And it's definitely, like, a male-dominated space. And it's, like, very boy-centric. Um, but I, like, think it's such a great platform. And I think making space where I used to be a kid on and like was exposed to different ideas on like I think that's so important I also think like a lot of people who are assigned male at birth like grew up on YouTube too and so like I just want to be able to in be in conversation I want to have a space where AMAB non-binary people might be able to find and enjoy the content, the content, the videos or whatever, the art that I'm making. And just because I feel so grateful for this platform. Yeah. Yeah. I feel so, like, and I, like, I feel like I'm talking to my younger self, you know, I used to make YouTube videos when I was like 13, like, you know, I was a 13 year old boy, <laughs> no longer, but, um, you know, I feel like I'm in conversation. Yeah, anyways, well, I hope you guys want to, like, make this space with me. Like, I'm really excited. Like, I'm, I'm excited. I don't know. Yay. <laughs> <laughs>